BC Hink in Moscow region faced Fenerbahce Ulker Istanbul and they host took a double digit lead with an 11 0 run kept by Sergei Monia. Fenerbahce started well in the second half, decreasing the gap to two on 39 37, netted by Bojan Bogdanovic. The match was close till the end when Omer Onan beyond the arc and David Anderson under the basket pushed the Turkish up by one. But Kevin Rivers decided the game with an unbelievable score with the help of the Eastern replay, giving an amazing win to Pinky. Lietu was Rita's hosted at Seska Moscow at Siemens Arena in Vilnius. It was a balanced game until the half time when Viktor Kriapa scored at the buzzer with a fancy layout. The third quarter ended with Seska up by seven. And early in the fourth period, Messina's team took a double digit margin, 61 50, with Milos Teodosic. And never look back, winning 71 62, its fifth game in this regular season. Bros Basket Bamberg hosted the unbeaten FC Barcelona Regal that ended the first half up by five, thanks to the buzzer of Juan Carlos Navarro. The Spanish enlarged the gap in the third quarter with a 12 0 run led by Navarro and kept by the driving layup of Marcelino Huertas. 64 51 for Barcelona. Bros tried to come back in the last period with the triple of Charles Ford, but Xavier Azabeda with two steals and two dunks ensured the top 16 spot to Barcelona. Almost a do or die game in Dinier to rejoin the race for the top 16. The second proper took the helm of it using its talent and experience in the first half. Elan Shalom Sousaon put back thanks to the sweet hands of Brian Rush behind the heart and the power of Jordan Abudu, who dunked twice in the crucial moment of the fourth quarter. Then Ilian Eftimov closed the door from downtown and the French champs remained in the thick of the battle for a top 16 spot. Olympia Ljubljana hosted Maporo Cantu at Stosice Arena. In the first quarter, Union Olympia with Aljaka Blasis tied the game at 15. Maporo went up by four with Alex Tius in the second period. But in the third quarter, the game was very close and Aaron Bynes tied again at 57 with a three point game. In the last quarter, Maporo flew to 61 67 with a three pointer by Nicolas Mazzarino. But Ljubljana answered with Dylan Page. Then won with two free throws of Blasic. Alba Berlin hosted Montepaschi Siena with a good start by Dion Thompson. Siena emerged in the third period to join a lead of 13 points when Daniel Hackett closed the run with the dunk. Alba answered with a 14 0 break to take the lead thanks to Yassin Ibihi. Alba was close to win, leading by three after the Sean Woods basket. But after Thomas Red's three pointer, Hackett sank the winning jumper with 14 seconds left. The so far undefeated Maccabi Electra Tel Aviv hosted Unicaca Malaga. At the beginning of the second quarter, the Israeli champions led by six, while at half time the Spanish were up by one with a dunk of James Dees. Marcus Williams assisted Costa Perovic, signing the 49 49 after three periods. Malaga found a six point lead, but Devin Logan with a triple gave another advantage to Maccabi. It was Williams again to score an important basket with 55 seconds left. Then Lucas Zoric blocked the possible tie, so Malaga won 64 62. Winless Partizan MTS Belgrade faced uh, Besiktas JK Istanbul at Pioneer. The Serbian team had a good offensive effort, taking a 9 points lead in the third period with uh, Dragan Miloslavivic. Besiktas tried to stay in the game with uh, Gasper Widmar, but in the fourth quarter, Leo Westerman sealed Partizan's win 87 72, first in the season for the Serbians. Real Madrid scared Panathinaikos Athens in the first quarter, going up by six on the road with a triple by Nikola Mirotic. The Greens fought back in the second quarter, digging a double-digit hole with an inspired Jonas Machulis. Real had the strength to get within five points at the start of the third quarter on a basket by Mirza Bejic. But then the home team went on a 9 nothing run to get again a double-digit lead and never looked back, riding a hot Stefan Lasm for the important win against the Blancos. Daigiris Kaunas faced 
Fortaleza de Vita in Zagreb and tried to fly away early in the game with Paulo Siancunas. But the home team came back in the game and got ahead in the last period thanks to Pedro Supu. After the visitors retook the lead, it was a three-pointer sunk by Brazil to tie the game at minute 40. At the end of a very balanced uh, overtime, Mikael Gerabal tied the game once again with a tap-in. Darius Lavrino, which helped Zygiris in the second overtime. But Wright made it a tie game again before Iliescu gave a great win to Sedevita from the line.